Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, <coughs> I'm going to be showing you how to make a concave butcher. So this is different from convexed butcher's tools that we've made in the past, as we are trying to get some concavity in here. And uh, hopefully you guys can see what that looks like there. I'm not too horrible. Basically, the butchering plane is on the interior surface. Now this is going to go fairly just like all the other kind of butcher tools I've been making out of these little stubbies here. This is a piece of 1084 and it started its life off at about two inches long or 50 mil long and one inch in diameter or 25 mil uh, in diameter. So that's what we're starting with. Piece is 1084. Pretty simple deal. Uh, the only real difference here that I'm doing with each one of these is I'm giving them slightly different radiuses uh, by tightening up the diameter here. So I'm giving them slightly different radiuses on the inside and also I'm giving it a narrower footprint. Um, so like this one here is a fairly shallow uh, radius if you will. Let me go over here. as where these other two are a little steeper. Each one's a little steeper than the one prior to it. So as they go down in size, they're gonna get a little steeper. So I've got three here. This one's the largest at a half inch, three eighths, quarter, and I'm making an eighth inch one. So that's 12 mil, roughly 12 mil, nine mil or 10 mil, and then, you know, six mil. So we're gonna to try to take and come down here and do an eighth inch or four mil curved butcher. Now you may not want to take and actually bend this. You don't want to really curve it or put a curve in the tool itself. You want to stray away from that. So this way you have a little bit more mass because of the ge geometry of what this tool needs to do and kind of the physics of it. You want this to be a pretty straight tool, just straight dug right into the piece, but then have a curvature on the inside. So most of that work will all be done with a grinder. All right, we're back up to heat here nicely. You want to take and hammer on this and you want to just take and bring it down nice and even on both sides. We're looking for a symmetrical taper and we want to keep it parallel with its original parent bar stock thickness. So we're trying to draw it down to just a little beyond eighth inch or four mil in one plane while keeping it one inch wide or 25 mil wide in the other. Okay, so once you've got that piece all drawn out, we're going to come out with a really high heat now, and we're going to fuller in our groove. You want this the groove to go in as square as you can. We'll start it in one plane first, then we're going to turn it up and just hit it on the diagonal on both ends. So turn it the opposite way, hit it on the diagonal and then we'll rotate it up on the opposite side. Give it a good hammering all the way around. Make it nice and even, and then I have to grab my tongs. And we're gonna check the fit. So you wanna make sure the fit fits good in the tongs and you're good to go. So I'll stick this back in the fire, and let it go for normalizing heat, or two or three, probably three normalizing heats, and then we'll be right back with this, and we'll be over at the grinder.
Okay, so there you have it. I've got this little piece done. I'm sure you guys can't see it from all the way over there, but uh, you guys will have to take my word for it. You guys got to see it up close there. So the next step in this process is I will actually have to take and heat treat this. It has been normalized three times. I'll have to end up heat treating this in another video. I have a whole grouping of tools right here, like an entire clutch of tools, as you can see. And I'm going to do that all in one video. That way it doesn't get a bit of redundancy to it. Also, this will be the last video that I'm going to film in this series. Uh, I don't know when it will come out here. There might be a few more, but uh, this is going to be one of the last ones that I do in this series because basically they are all the same no matter what you do. If you're doing a, you know, just a curved fuller, it's the same thing as if you do a curved butcher. Uh, if you're doing a concaved or convexed butcher, it's all the same. Don't know if you guys can see that. You guys can't see that worth nothing. But anyways, um, this is a con. This is a convexed butcher. This is a concaved butcher. Again, the forging process for these are all basically the same. That's what makes them so great. You're just trying to keep them all regular. The ends are the only thing that gets treated differently. So. I will catch you guys up. I will show you how to grind some of the different ends um, on like the concaved butchers and things like that. All the videos around this series will actually be in the playlist uh, section on the channel. And that link for that will be down in the description down below. So you can check that out at your convenience if you would like to. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed watching it nonetheless. I'm going to have some other content that will be coming out here very soon that is not just straight up doing tooling videos. So thank you for joining me on this one. And as always, God bless you. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.